Today's episode of Trash Panda Off-Road, we're going to put this trail tough winch onto the overland build. Pick this winch up uh, secondhand off the old Facebook marketplace. I'm sorry, bumper. I bought the bumper. Obviously, it comes with a winch. Uh, this is one of the worn 95 TIs. Doesn't have a remote. Guy said it worked when he last used it. So, I already ordered the remote. And also, I ordered a synthetic line. We'll take this stuff out. This thing is heavy. Surprisingly heavy. I looked it up. This thing here, this winch, weighs about, like, I think it said 85 pounds or something like that. It was, I was shocked at how heavy that thing is. So... We'll get rid of this roller fair lead. We'll get rid of this winch line. Hopefully it works. Um, it does come with the head of LED light that came with it. Basically it's the trail tough bumper for the geo tracker. And the way this thing goes on, we'll take off the stock bumper and it has holes right here, which I'll already mount up right there with that. And then those bottom holes right there actually go right here where this hole is uh, trail tough sells a slug that you drop in there and then you put the bolt through I have an email into them um, seeing if they sell it separately but until I hear back from them I'm gonna go ahead and make my own with just a piece of pipe slide it in there weld a washer you know that kind of simple thing um, and we'll see how well that lasts and if they even sell that slug separately but first thing I'm gonna do today is take that winch off to make this thing light enough to move around because I'm going to deal with that winch at a later time. Also, I'm kind of curious if that LED light works. So we'll take the winch off first. Got the winch unbolted and as far as I can tell, it looks like I'm going to have to take and grind these off. This was where the light bar mounted because I need to be able to lift this thing up and kind of in this area in order to get it out of there, I think. That's how it looks anyway. Thing's heavy. Yeah, so I was right, kind of, on how to get that winch in and out. Once you cut, I cut away those brackets, the winch actually kind of tilts and goes out that way. So that's something I gotta consider. I'll probably have to take this back off again once I get that winch fixed, if it works. Free spool does work, I found that out, so that's good. At least I got that part, so. Hopefully we'll get the pieces we need to replace it and repair it soon. Uh, in the meantime, I really did want to have this light here, uh, but I'll have to wait. I could weld it back on and then just take it back off again. It's just a simple cut. So maybe that's what we'll do. We'll weld those brackets back on. Uh, we'll see what we decide to do. But for now, I got that part all apart. I should probably test that, make sure it even works. Maybe I'll cut all the wiring and take it off. Yeah. And then cut all this wiring. I know we're indecisive today. Cut all this wiring, take the light off, put that to the back of the shop for now. Um, and then we'll look into taking that one off, unhooking those lights. Whew, it's going to be dark soon. Man, that was a lot more work than I anticipated it being. We got this light bar off of there. Let's see if it works. Make sure I get the polarities right. Nothing there. Oh, I got a little spark. Oh, oh, so I got really bad connections, but there it goes. It works. All right, so we do have a working light bar. That's a win. Hmm. Let me shut the hood here real quick. I'm not sure I'm in love with it. There it is guys, got it on there. No winch yet, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about this big giant gap. Maybe I'll put the uh, lights in there on each side. I think that'll help suck that up. So what I didn't do is show you guys what I used. Fill in these holes right here that's in the frame that I did mention. Basically it took like this. This is one that didn't work. I ended up stripping it out. 
took a piece of pipe, uh, about an inch and a half pipe, welded a washer onto it, and then inside that washer, I, well, first I welded the nut to the washer, then I welded the washer to it. On the second set, the set that's actually in there, I took a smaller washer that fit over the top of the pipe, so it was the same size as the pipe, and it didn't hang over like that, and that's what I slid in in there. I haven't bolted them down yet or anything, and it's still kind of finger tight. So, just wanted to get that all on there. Uh, hopefully, they'll get a hold of me. Low uh, Trail Tough will get a hold of me and sell me the correct parts to slide in there. Because I'd rather have it done correctly, especially if I'm going to put a winch on there. So, I'm going to put a winch. Well, going to wait for the parts for my winch. Don't mind the couch. It's going to go through the, to the uh, dump here in a couple of days. Uh, we got some new furniture, so that had to come out here. You guys know how it is sometimes when you have a shop you start to collect stuff out here so hopefully we're moving the jeep somewhere uh other storage but i doubt it um sorry okay rambling on here it is uh, i'll try to get a picture of it tomorrow morning in the daylight if i can before we head out of town so hopefully there's still some more video but thanks a lot for watching guys hope you enjoy the stuff i put on this channel i know this one here started to ramble on and i apologize um it gets laid on me sometimes, so I'm going to crank this down uh, and then call it a night. Thanks a lot for watching. Follow along Trash Panda Off-Road on the Instagram. It's the next morning. This will be the first time I get to look at it uh, in the daylight after we got the bumper installed last night. I like it. Oh, I had to put those lights on there because we're getting ready to go to uh, the Zuki World Fall Classic in two days. And there is some night riding and trails and stuff like that at night, so it's good to have extra lighting. So I had to just put those on there for the temporary. I'll figure a better place to mount lights later. But that's what it's going to look like. And we got the winch inside, so we'll put the winch on there. Kind of looks... Eh, it'll look like that one. Kind of. But we'll see. The other thing I did notice about these is bumpers that I didn't notice because I've never seen one this close. There's... It has a uh, toe points right there, which is cool. So that's where we're at. All dialed in, ready to rock and roll. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.